Okay, so let's get started. Now, number one, the question says, which of the following sources of energy is non-renewable? And we have I, coal, I, I, solar, I, 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 wind, I, V, uranium, that is two, three, six. So which one is going to be the correct answer? The answer is uh, C, which is I and I, V only. That is coal and uh, uranium, two, three, six. So you can note that all the answers will be provided in the description below so you can check it out again now number two the building block of a material with the smallest unit of matter that retains the properties of an element is what that one the answer is what atom so number two is b now let's move on to number three oil from a mechanic workshop accidentally spilled into a pool of water um, which was breeding mosquitoes after some time, the pool of water was no longer breeding mosquitoes, but which control method may have been you know, deployed? So the question is understandable. So we have biological control, chemical control, environmental control, and genetic control. The answer is B, chemical control. So obviously, they had put some chemicals into the pool, killing all the water, killing all the animals, as you can see. So that's the correct answer. Let's go to number four. Number four, grasshoppers management. Grasshopper management is crucial because of all the following reasons, except the answer is C. Number four is C, except ecosystem. So that one is out. You have to check it out. It's C. Now let's move on to number five. A hunter experiences backward force upon firing a gun. But which, which of the Newton's law of motion is demonstrated in the situation. The answer is C, that is a third law. Third law. Yeah. Let me check it out. Good. So that's the correct answer. It's C. Now the next one is number six. Which of the following set of devices operate on the principle of magnetism? Now let's see the answer is A, it's obvious. So we have loud speakers, we have compass and alarms. They all operate based on magnetism or magnet, as you can see. So let me take the answer. You see, the answer is A. Number six is A. Number seven. Now, which of the following elements has four electron shells? Four electron shells. The answer is A. So 19K, as you can see. So that is the correct answer. Now, number eight. A livestock farmer wants to achieve the good health for animals being reared. But which of the following activities should be undertaken by the farmer? So we have the eye vaccination, the eye, eye provide balance wishing, eye, eye provide the good sanitation for the animal. The answer is what all the three. So the answer is D. The answer is D. Let me check it out and see. Good. So that's the correct answer. Now we have number nine, which reads canned foods and drinks have expiry date on them. The hazard involved in taking an expired drink is so that one the answer is what a food poisoning food poisoning so if you take any you know, expired product you know obviously it's going to lead to food poisoning so that is the answer as you can see now number 10 but the two unknown solutions labeled a and b they were brought to a ghs3 class and it was observed that uh, in solution a red litmus paper the change color to blue was the solution B. You know, red litmus paper retain its color. Um, what could be the content of the solution A? The answer is C. Let's check it out. C is baking soda. So it was the baking soda that obviously changed the color. So you can try that experiment probably in the house or maybe at the school to see that. Number 11. A student who complained of stomach upset, you know, was given first aid with um, MGO2, H that is bodily written on it. You know, what could be the common name, you know, of the first aid of the student was given? So what medicine was that? In, in short, that is what they are saying. And 11, the answer is B, milk of magnesium. Milk mm, of magnesium. Let's check that one. You see? The answer is B. It is not translocate, nor book of aluminium. 
because of the symbol mm. this is magnesium mg so we check that one too and see number 12 a bowl of water you know on a grass eh, sorry on a gas stove was initially cooked it became warm after some time but what was the mode of heat transfer in the water wow the answer is a that is convection let me check that one and see correct the answer is convection 13 the portion of air you know which acts as a solvent is what the answer is c the answer is c let's take that one and see the answer is nitrogen nitrogen the answer is c 14 a natural phenomenon that illustrates the dispersal of light is what a 14 is a that is a rainbow you shouldn't forget that 14 is a which is rainbow 15 when a stick is dipped into a pool of water it appears as what the answer is d bend towards the surface so let's check that one and see so you can try that as well probably you have seen this in many of the textbooks so if you put you know a stick into the water it it, it bend down you see it as you know it has bent down something like that okay now 16 now, which of the following electrical appliances can convert electrical energy to heat energy? The answer is all the three. Mm, electric, ion, kettle, and water heater. They can all convert you know, electric energy to heat. So the answer is A. Let me check that one and see. Good. Now, 17 says that you know, the consequences of the greenhouse effect you know, on humans include what? The answer is D. That is I and I I. Answer is D. Let me take that one and see. I and I is correct. Okay, now let's go to 19. 18, sorry. Cockroaches in the cupboard you know, were killed after an insecticide had been sprayed. The insecticide reached the cockroaches by the process of what? Nice question. The answer is diffusion. So as you can see, it was sprayed at one corner. Then gradually it spread to all the hiding places of the cockroaches in the cupboard, and obviously they all died. So the answer is C. It diffused, mm? the spray diffused, and they all died. So 19. Now, which of the following nursery beds is suitable for a flood prone area? The answer is C. Raised bed. And then you see, raised bed. Okay. Now let's see number 20. Which of the following natural cycles directly involve the sun? Uh, we have I carbon cycle, water cycle, nitrogen cycle. The answer is what B, I and I, I. So let's turn that one and see. I and I, I. So let's go. Now 21. The primary purpose of respiration in human is to A, do what? So we have taking oxygen as I, release carbon dioxide, regulate body temperature, and the last one. That, sorry, the answer is D. That is I and I, I only. You take in oxygen and regulate body temperature. I, I, I only. So we get that one too. Which day? Now, number 12. Sorry, 22. <laughs> Nitrogen deficiency in soil causes what? The answer is what? B. Yellowing of the leaves yellowing of the leaves so let me check that one and see good the answer is 22 now 23 an electric bulb is rated 0.5 amp you know, 120 volt determine the power you know, produced when the bulb is turned on the answer is what so this is a simple calculation that you can do it is what 60 watts so b 60 watts the answer is b correct now 24 now the following processes are chemical changes except what except a which is crumpling of paper okay now let's go to 25 now which of the following statement best describes the term green economy so it includes what c reduce carbon emission that is all so 25 c Okay, now let's go to 26. 
The energy transformation that occurs when sodium hydroxide is dissolved in water is what? So we have C, that is chemical to heat energy. 26 C, 26 is also C. Now 27, we have digestion of rice in humans start from where? So when you take in carbohydrate, as you can see, it start from where? So you, just, you could have asked the question, carbohydrate in humans start from where? But you know, they just change it to rice, which is the C, which is the math. Start from the map C. Okay, a substance that could be used in large scale treatment of Domestic water is what? So we have D, that is the chlorine, right? The answer is this one D, that's the chlorine. We check it, D, correct. Okay, let's go to 29. Now, chlorophyll helps plants absorb energy you know, from the sun now, as they undergo the process of photosynthesis. It is located in a structure called what? The answer is simple, it's A, hmm? chloroplast. So 29 is A. I think this year's science was not all that difficult. 30, an electrical engineer that was in your school to replace a 20 watt bulb with 50 watt bulb. Use this information to answer the question below. Now the unit inscribed on the bulb measure, measures its what is power. So 30 C. In the power, correct. Now, 31. Now, electrical engineer, you know, was in your school. You know, to replace the bulb, what with 50 watt bulb. Use information below to do that. The same thing, some process like that. Now, the 50 watt bulb is likely to do it. Mm, the answer is I and I. I, mm, I says increase the brightness in the room, obviously, when you turn it on. And last one, destroy the habitat of pests. Because it is very, very, very bright, if I would say. So the answer is D. Let's check that one and see. Good, that's the correct answer. Now, 32, 32, 32. The following devices work based on the principle of pressure in fluid, except, except what? The answer is B, that is fluid. Hmm? 32, this one is the correct answer. Now, 33 says, in making ornament and jewelry, non-reactive metals are preferred because they what D, you know, do not react you know, with um, atmospheric energy. 33 is D. Okay. 34. A metallic saddle, you know, was left in, you know, boiling soup. Uh, after some time, the handle became hot. This is because you know, the particle in the saddle A you know, undergo rapid random motion. So 34 is O. 34 is O. Let's go to 35. The simplest way of making well water suitable for laundry is by what? A. Sorry, that's how you see boiling. Just boiling the water. Now it will be suitable for laundry. That is for washing. We are almost done with the section A part 36. A poultry farmer observed that the layers were producing thin shelled eggs. Use information to answer the question below. You know, the defect you know identified is mostly caused by the deficiency of what if you look at the problem is calcium. So when there is lack of calcium, obviously it will lead to that. Let's take the answer and see. So that's a correct answer. Good. Now 37. 37. A poultry farmer observed that the layers were producing tin shield. Producing tin shield X. Use information below to answer the question that follows. You know what ingredient could be added to the feed to correct the defect that the deficiency we've talked about answer is what D oyster shell meal. So when it is added, it will stop that problem. 38. Which of the following pairs of energy um, sources is environmentally friendly? So we have um, B, which is wind and, and, and biogas. So 38 is B. 
that A is B. And then biogas. Then 39. A student is to measure 20 centimeters of a sodium hydroxide solution. What instrument could be used? So that's now the answer is going to be C. Measuring cylinder. Let's take that one to C. Oh, good. And the last one, we are almost done with everything. It says that a mother took her child to the hospital and upon investigation, it was noticed that the child died. The child died and was lacking in zinc. And what could this be the result? So the answer is obviously B, which is I and I, I, I. I says decrease growth in the child and I, 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 inability of the body to fight infection. So this is what caused this. And let's check if that is the answer. The answer is B. B. Good. So we've been able to solve the BEC 2024 um, question that they wrote last year. Yeah. Now I'll leave all the possible answers in the comment section, sorry, in the description below. So if you want to check it up, you can also do that. And after this video, the next video that we posted will be for the theory part. We will post that one too so that you can check it out. And further question to be released so that it will help you to prepare for the upcoming BEC exam. Please, if you don't understand anything, feel free to leave your question in the section below so that we can also help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is SBEC. Thank you very much.